Hi there, my name's Vince from mrtelephone.co.uk and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can record your landline telephone conversation using this kit here. It's made from by Comtel, it's called a telephone recording adapter kit and it will record your conversations on your home corded phone and also your cordless phone. Now it won't work on digital phone system so for example if in an office if you have to dial 9 for an outside line and it's a digital phone system a PABX digital one then it's not going to work but for your normal home phones whether you're a Virgin Media or a BT or wherever you are in the world it will work if it's just a normal standard analog phone line that you've had for many many years it doesn't matter whether there's broadband on it or not because you're just going to be recording obviously the voice conversation of it now different ways of doing it some people sell these little microphones that you, with a little sucker cup that you stick onto them. They work, but uh, I quite like these because you can just plug them in, forget about them, and then if you ever want to use it, you will just plug it up to your computer or your, uh, or your laptop. Now, they say not to use it with a computer. The reason is, is because your computer's plugged into the power, you know, plugged into the electricity supply. So there's an annoying underlying hum on the line. But if you use a laptop via the battery, then it will work fine. If you plug your laptop in to charge it up, again, you will get that annoying hum on the line. So I'm going to show you in this video how to set it up and also the hum and without the hum. So you can compare so you have a better idea of what it's going to be like when you come to do this yourself. If you, you know, you're going to be doing this a lot, you might want to think about getting yourself a little dictation machine, these little dictaphones down here. This is just Argos and uh, you know Argos is a, a catalog in the UK and uh, they range from 25 pound up to 50 pound some of them even have voice activation so that would be handy so it would just activate every time that it hears uh, you know that, that, that it hears a conversation being had now this is fine for doing outgoing and incoming but on the outgoing it's going to make more sense because you can start recording then you can dial your number and record the whole conversation Obviously, if people are ringing you, you've got to you know, be next to your laptop. Your laptop's already got to be fired up so you can start recording the conversation. So you'll probably find on incoming calls that you're going to constantly miss the first few seconds. So if it's important to you, maybe get yourself a dictaphone because then you can set that up straight away. Or you might already have something in your house which you can plug an external microphone into, you know, like a line in. So that should uh, that should work, but it kind of, you know, it depends on the configuration. So for example, you won't be able to use this kit here on your iPod uh, or your iPhone because they, uh, on the little 3.5 millimeter connectors, the external mic part of that will be in different, different places. So, uh, but it works fine on your laptop and it will work fine on the little dictation, uh, uh, dictaphone, the dictation machines. Now, is this legal? In the UK, yes it is. If you're using it for personal use, you do not have to let the third, the other party know that you're recording a telephone conversation. It's good practice too, but you don't have to. It's just the same as taking notes. You don't, you know, as long as you're not passing this information onto a third party, onto another person, then it's legal to do it without letting the other person know. In other countries, they say that one, one party has to know that the conversation has been recorded. Well, of course, you know it's being recorded because you're the one doing it. So obviously, it would be illegal to eavesdrop on somebody else's conversation. But if you're, the, if, as long as one party knows, meaning you're the one making the call and you know it's recording, then it's fine. But you have to double check, so Google it to see if it's legal in your own country. Because I know there's certain states in America that you have to let the other person know that you're recording the conversation. Now, that might not always be a bad thing, because if you've got a dispute with a company, if they know it's being recorded, they might be a little bit more, you know, they, they might be more inclined to help you out if they know it's being recorded. So it can be handy. Also, it doesn't mean you have to do anything sinister. You might just use this because you might be going for a new job and the employer might ring you up or you might be ringing the employer and you must, might be asking information. Rather than having to take notes, when you're taking notes, sometimes you can't fully concentrate on the conversation because you're too busy taking notes. What time? What do I have to wear? What do I have to bring? You know, where is it? Well, 
if you're just recording the whole conversation, then you can relax, enjoy the conversation, and then you can refer back to. So it's, uh, it's quite a handy thing to have. I have these in my shop for, they're approximately 10 pounds, and uh, yeah, it's just a, a handy thing to have. You plug it in, you can leave it plugged in, it's not gonna do any harm, and you can just use it as and when you want to. So, like I said, I'm gonna be doing it on my laptop. Now, on your laptop, you have to make sure that you've got the, it's gonna be hard to see, but, there should be two, uh, normally you'll have a headphone jack and a microphone jack. So this one here is the microphone one. This one here. Okay. And you can see it looks like an old fashioned microphone that people used to sing into. So not the headphone jack, it has to go into the microphone jack. Okay, and if we open this up, I'll just quickly show you the instructions and you can, you can pause it. And read them in your own time. Okay, so in it we have a little RJ11 to RJ11 lead. So although on the instructions it says it won't work in other countries, I don't see why it won't work in other countries, because it's just using the middle two pins, which is standard on the RJ11s throughout the world. So uh, I'm not quite sure why they say that. So in the UK they give you this little adapter to turn it into a BT plug, but so many countries in the world use these RJ11, so I don't see why it wouldn't work there, unless they're talking about uh, the legality of it. So you know, you, it might not be legal, so it's just easier for them just to say it's only it's only legal in the UK because I can't see why this wouldn't work in other countries. So basically, this is a bit that's going to plug into your telephone landline, and then you can plug your phone back into here or your microfilter or what. Well, actually, sorry, this would need to be microfiltered. So. In the UK you would plug your microfilter into the line and then you would plug this in just before your telephone. So wherever your phone plugs into, just unplug your phone, plug this in and then plug your phone back into that and plug it in so then you know it's all being filtered. And then we've got here we've got a little 3.5mm uh, jack, it's a mono, mono connection. So I'm going to show you it, uh, show you it working in here. Let's just zoom in. So what we need to do is, we need to unplug the telephone from the line, and then we're going to plug in the little double adapter, and then we're going to plug the telephone back into the line again. And then we're going to get the lead and we're going to plug it in to the, the microphone port of the laptop. Which is this one here. Remember if you're using this on a BT line, then you always have to filter this recording kit. So never plug the double adapter into the socket and then plug the filter into the double adapter. It always has to be filtered. So if you're using this on there, a socket that you're not using somewhere that you don't normally use, you will have to buy yourself a filter if you haven't got a spare one lying around. So plug the filter in and then plug the recording kit into the filter and then your phone goes into the recording kit. Yeah. Or if this is just a socket somewhere that you don't use, then just leave it like a uh, just leave it like that, just plug it in like so. If it was on, for example, uh, a Virgin Media line, you don't obviously need the filter because the broadband comes down separately. So it would just be like that. You don't have to plug the phone that you're recording into this little double adapter. As long as this is plugged in anywhere on the telephone line, it will pick up the conversation. Okay, so we're all plugged in now and we're gonna be using, uh, we're gonna try it on the cordless phone. Now this cordless phone is not plugged into the socket, this cordless phone is plugged into the kitchen socket, but it doesn't make a blind bit of difference because it is all connected onto the same line. So what you need to do is you need to start recording. So we're gonna go on this computer here, we're using Windows 10. So we just go down to this part here and we just type in voice and voice recorder. So if you type in voice recorder, you should already have this installed. And now you start the recording. And if we, for example, I'm gonna phone, uh, phone Virgin Media. Good 
okay so it's just talking through so hello hello record both sides of the conversation okay so now we stop that and if we were to play that back we should be able to hear Okay, so as you can hear there, it's recorded the conversation. Now again, exactly the same on a landline phone. If we were to get the landline phone and plug it in to here, it works exactly the same on both of them. So if I press, go to record it again, pick the phone up, start dialing. And again, it will record both sides of the conversation. Okay, hang that up, press stop, and it should be exactly the same, so it doesn't matter where you use it. Okay, so that's that now. I just want to show you what it's like when you plug your laptop into the mains, just to show you the hum on the line. So plug the laptop in. Okay, and this will be exactly the same if you're using your, computers, your computer as well. It will put this hum onto the line. So now if I go to record, pick up the phone, dial Virgin Media again. Now you should still be able to hear it, but there will be a hum on the line. Okay, so let's stop that. Then play it. Can you hear that? See that? It's annoying. There's an annoying hum. Yeah, so I don't know how well the microphone on this actual uh, uh, video camera picked it up, but you can still hear the conversation, but there really is this annoying hum buzz thing on the line, so it's, uh, it's not the best. But uh, yeah, if you've got a laptop, if this is only every now and then, just uh, connect it up to your laptop and just use the battery on it. If not, think about getting, uh, think about getting one of the dictaphones that I uh, talked about earlier. If you do want this little contact kit, as I said before, it's about £10, please head on over to uh, mrtelephone.co.uk and you'll be able to buy it from my eBay store. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Take care. Please subscribe for more how-to videos and please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks very much. Take care. Bye now.